Hey, what's up guys? Tony here, and this is another game of MLB 11, Road to the Show with Matt Adams. And here I am in the second game of my professional career, and I'm hitting eighth this time. Now, um, what I want to do is, I've gotten some messages and I've talked to some people, and they want me to give more tips. And I'm trying to figure out how best to facilitate you guys and the needs for tips, because... I have, I have up to this point assumed that everybody who buys this game knows a little something about baseball. And um, one of the guys that I'm specifically talking about, he doesn't really know much about it. I don't think he's much of a baseball fan. I mean, maybe he's a somewhat a baseball fan, but anyways, basically what I want to know from you guys is, like I said, I'm sort of assuming that you guys know a little bit of uh, a little bit about baseball. But if you need some like actual real life baseball tips that translate into the game itself such as like situational hitting um fielding now obviously you've seen like my fielding is subpar in the outfield and that's because i'm not an outfielder in real life so i don't really have the instincts that an outfielder should have or an outfielder i should say would have uh, i'm an infielder so that's where all my instincts reside and then pitching, you know, I'm um, I'm actually created. I have created, and I'm going to do a video because I, I had some people send me messages saying they want to see me do a pitcher because um, one they thought see, <coughs> see me seeing another hitter would be boring, and two because they want to just see that. So I have I have, an, I have a pitcher that I've created, and I'm going to do a video on that probably next day or two. So I'm going to be trying to juggle these. I mean, you're going to get the gist of it, really. I mean, when you start to see there's an a over, overwhelming pattern to playing this game as far as, like, leveling up is concerned. But what I want to talk about is the biggest thing is, is how do you get to the show the quickest? And there's really three avenues. I mean, there's two ways you get into this game. Obviously, you could either enter the draft, which presumably is, is going to put you on a team that's going to need you in a certain position. Um, but, I mean... Yeah, you know, you could get on a team that's pretty thick, you know, pretty heavy in, in whatever position that you want to be in. Or you could select a team. So those are the two ways you actually get into the actual game itself and get onto a team. Now, if if you want to take the draft route, um, you really don't have a con you don't have any control about how quick you get to the show because you could be on a team that has just serious depth in whatever position that you you're you're in. But if you select a team with the intention that you want to get to the show the fastest, you'll have to go through, say if you're, I don't know, a shortstop, or in this case, an outfielder. You go through and you scroll through every single team until you find the one that has the thinnest um, depth in the outfield. And then you'll see how you stack up against the major league players. You'll see, uh, or I mean the players within the organization. You'll see the major league player on top, you'll see AAA, AA, and then you'll see yourself on the bottom left. So when you do that, if you're going to go that route, say, I don't know, maybe you're not a fan of the Orioles or something, right? But they need outfielders. And you select and you put yourself on that team. You, what you really need to do is you need to get your total points, your your um, value as a player up beyond those players. That's how you get moved up. Because if you're, now I don't want to say statistically, because I mean, I, you could be a 500 hitter, and, and hit 50 home runs a season, 200 RBIs, um, by jacking with the sliders, uh, you, you don't you're not necessarily a better player than the other guys because they're not they're not going on stats, um, they're going on the, your attribute points and like how much of that you have. I mean, you're gonna gain points, you'll get up there eventually, but I'm just saying if you're a rookie on double A like I am right here, I could tear this league apart hitting wise, and I could be a great fielder. And um, I could not make mental mistakes like this one right here, <laughs> which, see that? Whew, thank God for errors. Um, but yeah, if you're not a better player than the guys above you, you're not going to get called up. I mean, maybe if there's an injury, you'll get called up. Like I had that one time where I was playing double A on the show, the 09 show, and I was playing on the Yankees because that's who drafted me. And I was playing double A, and somebody got injured on the Yankees. Um, it wasn't Jeter. Um, it was probably Robinson's Cano. But anyways, they got they somebody got injured. I got called up from Double A to the big leagues, and I played for about two weeks on the big leagues, and then they dropped me back down. So sometimes it's not really a matter of like if you're better, you just get called up for some reason. I don't know. So um, that's really what I can offer as far as like tips. I mean, like I said, if if 
don't want to sound like a broken record, but if you want like baseball tips to help yourself play the game uh, and, and get to know baseball a little bit better, let me know. Um, what I'm going to show you is exactly what I'm talking about about the attribute system because some people think that you just need to level up certain things like you do, so like contact and power and plate vision and I don't know, fielding and speed and base running abilities. Some of those things don't really mat don't really matter. Say like base running ability, bunting. They make you they're required to make you like um, you know level up bunting because that's that's just one of the things they want you to do. But what I'll show you is I'm going to show you Matt Adams' stats and the way he stacks up with the grading system and compare that to Scott McLean, who now has about a year's worth of major league service under his belt. So it's not going to be the same. <coughs> excuse me. It's not going to be the same as when he first got called up, but it'll be pretty darn close to what you what you need to look at because that's the most telling part. And then those you'll see the attributes that you need to work on. Like I said, there's certain things that aren't as important. I mean, you look at look at guys who are in the major leagues. Okay, well, we got 50 points from that game. Um, and it says contact, right hand hitting, right hand pitching. So we're gonna do that. I always do that. I'll always clear out those um, goals first and then go work on other things, even if it's something stupid like bunting. But here's what I'm talking about. You've got overall F, contact F, power F, fielding F, speed D, potential A. Everyone's potential is always A. So what you want to do is work on contact. You want to work on the power, fielding, and speed. Those are the biggest tools that you need to work on. And um, you need to get to about a C average. You overall, you need to be a B player to get up to the major leagues. Now let's take a look at Scott McLean's. You got overall A, contact B, power B, uh, fielding C, speed B, potential of course is A. So you can see that there's a drastic difference, you know, in these two players. Obviously, you've got one who's in the big leagues and who's been there for about a year, like I said, and then you've got one guy who's just into his second game in the Double A. So it was, those are the tools you're gonna want to work on, guys. Um, but anyways, this video is wrapping up, and I will talk to you later.